One of the biggest things we can do for our home studio is to treat it acoustically, but that's not always possible, and that's where today's product comes into play. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest believer in foam products, and you won't find any foam on my walls, so with that in mind, can the iconic Mars Comet win me over? Let's roll that intro. What's up, YouTube Universe? This is Jacob Dark. If you're new to the channel, first of all, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Now, if you find this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be alerted every time I upload another video. Now, let's not waste any more time and check out the comet. The iconic Mars Comet is a portable sound isolation booth made out of foam and retails for $99. It has a variety of windscreen colors including galaxy black, aqua blue, midnight purple, and the original retro red. There's a few things to keep in mind if you're thinking of purchasing one of these bad boys. First of all, you'll want a traditional style microphone with a forward facing capsule. So something like the SM7B where you speak into the top of the microphone isn't going to work. You'll also want to take into consideration the size of your microphone. I use a lot of warm audio products and warm audio mics are big. Take for example my WA87R2 and compare it to the diameter of the Comet's mic hole. So when you have a shack sized microphone, it can technically still work, however it's going to be a tight squeeze and the foam may suffer a bit of damage. Cue the train entering the tunnel meme now. So let's make a case of why somebody would want this versus everything else out on the market. If you were looking into this, you've undoubtedly stumbled across the Chaotica Eyeball, which retails at $198. So for half the price, you're essentially getting the same thing. So save money. You could also buy a reflection filter instead. I've used a few myself over the years. However, they're often big and bulky and sometimes weigh enough that you'll be forced to buy a more heavy duty mic stand compared to the Comet that weighs nothing and is super portable, so convenience. And finally, acoustic panels. My preferred method of treatment, but I understand not everybody's in a situation where they can treat their space, whether it's your housing situation or maybe you just don't want to spend all that money on acoustic panels, having something like the Comet that can cut the echoes out of your recordings may be the solution for you. I'm going to leave it up to you to decide if this is the product for you, but to help you make that purchase decision, let's cut some raw, uncut, unprocessed vocal samples in an untreated room, first without and then with the Comet so you can hear firsthand the difference that it makes. So we're going to do these tests in my son's bedroom, which has kind of the normal things you might find in someone's room where they might have their home studio set up. A desk, a chair, a rug, a bed, a couple of things on the wall. And if you haven't already noticed, we are already doing the test. There's nothing but the WA87R2, a pop filter, and me speaking into the mic with an untreated room. So let's switch and put the Comet over the mic and see how much of a difference it makes. And now, as you can see by the Darth Vader helmet sized object in front of me, we have the iconic Mars Comet over the microphone. So you let me know in the comments below how much of a difference do you hear? Are you sold on this product and are you going to be buying one for yourself? Let me know in the comments below, I'm very intrigued to know. So again, no EQ, no compression, no processing whatsoever. I might raise the volume to match the rest of the video, but that's it. So let me know your final thoughts below. Now let's wrap up this video. That's going to do it for today. I hope you found this video helpful and there was enough information here to help you make your purchase decision. Again, if it was, hit that thumbs up, that subscribe button, and that notification bell. I'd love to have you on board long term as a permanent subscriber. So until next time, thank you for watching, stay tuned, and have a great day.